as much as we love stuff, we also hate stuff. Yes. Do you think do you think in this day and age it's still appropriate uh um yes. struggle? Yes, absolutely. I this was like I missed the days when actors were just like they a lot of them didn't care like they would go in person and accept sometimes. Like it was it was a fun thing. I I like this. Like it was it was it was uh kind of standard. You had your Oscar and you might get a Rizy. Like it was it was normal. It was fun. Like bring back some fun. I like it. Help me out here, Fletcher, but I let's look this up. I think there was an, a year where there was actually an actor who got both. Like they oh, won yeah. for an act for an Oscar and a Razzie. It's pretty, pretty epic. Yeah, I think I remember that. <clears throat> listen, listen, to me, if you don't have stuff like the Razzies or your worst list, then it's like everyone wins participation ribbon for doing a movie. <laughs> no, no, no. Y'all took my money. I'm going, I got something to say, right? And I told uh I told uh struggle like I did not like uh origin. I I love some of it, but I'm gonna be honest. Uh or you know, uh Wakanda Forever, you know. Yeah, just because it's black and brown doesn't mean you get that body o pass. So that's 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 just all I'm saying, man. Or the ghetto pass, body o ghetto. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Razzie's noms, Chris Evans and Jennifer Lopez. Oh, for worst actors. Yes. Shazam 2 and Ant-Man 3 tie with four nods. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Shazam wow. 2 that bad? I didn't watch Shazam 2. The thing is, it, it, it actually, if you compare it to the Marvels, no. Hmm. Or Ant-Man, no. It actually was a pretty standard, straightforward, uh, entertaining uh, superhero movie. But, wow. Wow. So I okay, guess there was um, a lot of people who got uh, Oscars and Roxy's. <laughs> Really? Yeah. All right, we'll so bring that up in a minute. Save that. Save that. Okay. Uh, here are the Razzies, which aims to dishonor the least successful films of the year, has announced nominations for its 44th edition. Wow. Hmm. That's 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 amazing. awesome. Yes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Last year's Andrew Dominic Blonde led the competition. There you go. That's probably the most recent one that got both. It it went on to bag the price for worst film. Wow, I still haven't seen that. Have you seen that one? Of course, it did a review on it. it it's well deserved. <laughs> it's yeah, well I heard deserved. It's, it's terrible. I heard oh it's a, I heard it's pretty rough. Yeah, I heard it's pretty pretty rough. soft core. Yeah. The Razzies found itself compelled to issue another act of penance last year, naming a special award to Bruce Willis. Hmm. After Willis and his family publicly disclosed the actor struggles with aphasia. A language disorder that caused brain damage. Razzie's rescinded the category. I guess worst hmm. performance by Bruce Willis in oh, in a twenty twenty one. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you're still doing movies. You're still making us pay money. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, you know, we do love you, Bruce. Okay, so here's best pictures, or worst picture. Here we go. Exorcist Believer, Expendables 4, Meg 2, Shazam, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Blood and Honey. Uh, oh. I've seen all of these. <laughs> really? Yeah, I would give it to, uh, besides uh, Shazam, mm -hmm. I would I would give it to uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, personally. <laughs> it's terrible. I what haven't was... seen that one, and I haven't seen Ex Expendables 4. I was, I was about to say, Expendables 4 was pretty bad. In comparison to the others, yeah, it was in the Exorcist Believer that was really disappointing what they did with the legacy character. But yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was just a question mark. Like, why? Why did anybody make it? <laughs> why? It's terrible. It's terrible. Why? <laughs> huh. Okay. I, I would. What do you think, guys? Do you think that if you're. There's no. To me, this is something as. There's no such thing as bad press. If you're in one of these films, or if you're nominated for worst actor, that's pretty good for your career. <laughs> <laughs> worst actor: Russell Crowe, Pope's Exorcist, Vin Diesel, Fast X, Chris Evans, Ghosted, Thatham, Meg Two, John Voight, Mercy. Oh my! What say you? What say you? Uh, uh, struggles. I'm gonna go with Jason Statham and Meg Two because I watched it. I, I thought he was gonna be in it like the whole time. <laughs> I was disappointed that we didn't get a lot of Jason Statham there. 
uh, Russell Crowe, I was just like, oh, like, you know, you watch a film, like, you're too good of an actor to be here. That's that's how mm. I felt watching The Pope's uh, Exorcist. Haven't seen Fast X, haven't seen Ghosted. John mm-hmm. Voight, Mercy. John Voight has been, like, phoning it in for a very long time, so that's... <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Okay, well, here here's here's my take on this worst actor. <laughs> to me, it's between Diesel and Voight. <laughs> I think Russell Crowe was hysterically entertaining in The Pope's Exorcist with his Ugh. Italian accent. In his own best. I, we loved it. I can't wait for the next one. That's it, To me, that's good, bad. Fast X and Mercy? No. Okay. All right. That's just me. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Controversy abounds with two, count them, three Latina mm. actresses up for worst actress <laughs> I think we're uh, I, we're getting canceled. This goes. I'm, I'm writing a bigger essay for the for for an article titled "Latinos Are Losers in Hollywood," and I'm not happy with this. Worst actress struggles: Anna de Armas, Megan Fox, Salma Hayek, Jennifer Lopez, Dame Helen Mirren. Jennifer Let's Lopez see. all day long. Like I really was disappointed in the mother. Like what? Well, what? Like, I haven't liked a Jennifer Lopez movie in a very what? long time. Like she's just not. She just she just doesn't try anymore. I swear she's the same person every film. Like, I, mean, she, I mean, I mean, I'm never. I'm biased. I mean, I'm never going to give anything. The film. fact that they that she put her booty in that dress that has and, nothing and to do. With that, that is a no. That is a performance by 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 the best derriere. Should she should she should win something? Not this. She looked. That was a fun movie. The more the mother was fun. What's wrong well, with that's you? That's the Slantino Award, right? Yeah. That's, that's the the Slantinos. Yes, yes. yes. Best derriere by a Puerto Rican. Best derriere by a Puerto yeah. Rican. Best derriere by 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 a Puerto Rican. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna do of, that. Then we gotta say like, oh, Sam Hayek had her had her like she looks so good. We just can't put her. She looked good in the movie, so we can't well, say it was bad. Salma is best geriatric Mexicana. Dang. No, she's gotta be geriatric. Why she gotta be geriatric? She's fifty-eight. She's fifty-eight. That's that's the new thirty. Okay, tell me, Game I, Fletcher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen, I'm going here. From what I hear, I hear Ghosted is horrible. Mm, I haven't. So I it. might have to go with that. All right. But I, I am, I'm dead, dead against, dead, dead against Lopez and Helm and Sama High being in this. There's absolutely mm-hmm. not. These are women are are goddesses yes, and no. deserve better. Jennifer no. Lopez or Megan Fox? I have I can't say Ghosted because I haven't seen it and I haven't seen mm-hmm. the, sh- the Shazam, but Megan See, Fox. Me... Jennifer okay, Lopez. can we agree on Megan Fox? Okay, we can give it to Megan Fox because Megan Fox. Let's give it to Megan Fox because Every I was sensing a little brown on black crime here. You know, <laughs> we need to we need to unite. Fine. By the way, I don't see a sister in this one at all. Yeah, because they be acting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're phenomenal oh. all of them are phenomenal wow. Everybody. we're supporting actress kim control megan fox again and yeah. oh listen it looks like we have some asian uh, representation here baling wow. Lucy, mm-hmm. and uh mary stewart masterson mm. five nights wow. at freddy i uh. thought you were hilarious in that film um <clears throat> struggles what say you uh i love lucy Liu, so no uh, I didn't mind Mary Stewart Masterson in Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with Megan Fox. <laughs> she could win. She could I'm win it go all. With Megan Fox, like Byleen, because I did see Johnny and Clyde. Byleen was, you know, but May- it's just Megan Fox. I really didn't like her in Expandables as an addition, and just the acting overall. It's just always the same. Okay. And I haven't uh, seen about my father. I don't know what that is. I, I honestly, I've only seen. The bottom two, Lucy and Mary. I would never vote against those two. They're they're sweethearts. We're going with Megan Fox yet again. <laughs> Megan terrible. Fox yet again. Double loser. Here, here we go. Worst supporting actor: Michael Douglas, mm-hmm. Mel Gibson, Bill Murray, Franco Nero, Sly Stallone. Ooh, wow! Yeah. All right, break it down. Break it down, girl. <sighs> I really expected more from Bill Murray. I'm sorry. And I, I love Bill Murray. Like when certain actors get to a certain age, I just want to think of them at their best. Like a lot, like with this whole category for, um, mm-hmm. I think it was Bruce Willis. Like just, I, I don't want to see my boys go out like that. I was disappointed in his performance and I didn't really care for um, 
Michael Douglas either. Like um, it's between those yeah. two. The Ant Man and the Wasp was just not great. I I I totally agree with you. Um, both every everything about that film was 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 hot garbage. Whether it, it's when the quantum mania or any mania, it's like garbage mania. And yeah, I, I, probably gonna edge out on that Bill Murray. I think putting Franco Nero is uh, really kind of like not fair, you know, like. This yeah, guy he is was like, fine. Russell Crowe was bad. No, he wasn't bad. <laughs> Russell like Crowe was wonderful. <laughs> Stop it. Franco Nero is is the OG. So that's that's not nice. That's not nice. We're screen couple. So wait, what did we say? Bill Murray. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Worst screen couple. Hmm. All right. Any two merciless mercenaries, expendables, any two money money grubbing investors who donate to the four hundred million for <laughs> remake rights to the Exorcist. Whoa! Wow! Wow! That's different. Any two? Any two? <laughs> any two? Any two of them that 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 donated to that four hundred million? Uh, Anna Armas and Chris Evans, who flunked screen screen <laughs> chemistry, ghosted. Salma Hayek and Channing Tatum. Pooh and Piglet in, as bloodthirsty <laughs> slasher killers in Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Wow. I'm, I'm going to go with any two money grubbing investors yes. who donated the $400 yes. million to remake yes. like, the Exorcist. That's what I'm Dude, gonna they, they, they ruined it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, finally, we really instinctually <laughs> agree on a, on, a, on a subject here because you've been wrong on, on a lot of them. Oh, Polly. <laughs> you haven't been right. You're not right. You're not right. I was, Polly. I was. Back to that. We have a couple. <laughs> we have a couple of here left here on the Razzies. Yes. Hope you guys are having fun. Dual channels going on. Make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. to everybody here. Hit that like button. Wor yes. Worst prequel, remake, ripoff, or sequel? Woo. Oh, I already. Have, oof. Indiana Ant Man, <laughs> The Wasp, Quantumania, The Exorcist, Believer, Expendables Four, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Still Beating a Dead Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Always going to go with Indiana Jones. That was terrible. I mean, that's just like no brainer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was a travesty of travesties. Yeah, that's a that's a quick, quick answer there, guys. That tells you everything. <laughs> All right. Worst director. Mm. Uh, Reese Frake Waterfield, Winnie the Pooh, David Gordon Green, The Exorcist. Peyton Reed, Ant Man and the Wasp, Fontamania, Scott Waugh, Expendables 4, Ben Wheatley, Meg to the Trench. Mm. Ant Man and the Wasp, Peyton Reed. That was terrible. Why would you do that? You had all that money. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually, this is kind of weird, but why am I, why am I thinking this one more? Mm -hmm. So you Maybe. think David Gordon Green had more say so and it was still terrible? Yeah, I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm also saying that which one was a was a bigger you know betrayal? Going with that, it's like wasn't it, even it, open, was, it was know. pretty bad. That ending was oh god, was so bad. Yeah. Everything was bad. <laughs> I still mm. just really hated the way that Ant Man and the Wasp look. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, thank you all for being here. Yes. Thank you, Tyra, for being here. Of course, always. Uh, so yeah, vote. We got one more worst screenplay The Exorcist, Expendables 4, Indiana Jones, Shazam. Oh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Can I Go Home Now? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's direct, like, pick this one. We, we, we were intentional yeah. in messing it up. Can I go home now? We're gonna go with Indiana Jones. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Yeah, dun dun dun.